you guys actually made history in 1996 because you were the first Canadian band ever to headline Lollapalooza. Do you remember anything from that experience? I definitely do. Um, we had just signed with SRO management, Ray Daniels, so Rush. And so for me, my career could literally end the following year because I was just, oh my God, you know, here we are. The Ray Daniels and his staff, who were still good friends with everyone there, uh, lovely, lovely people. And they got this gig for us. And there we are um, hanging around. Uh, the Ramones are there, like the Ramones, all of them. I couldn't believe it. And I still have the eight by 10 signed by each of them. Um, talking with Chris Cornell, uh, Matt Cameron, watching Matt Cameron literally 10 feet behind him just jaw on the floor um metallica of course <clears throat> they had they ended the show obviously but they had so much pyro and stuff like that everyone literally needed to be cleared at all it didn't matter if you're joey ramon i'm sorry sir we're gonna have to put you over here and it was just it was incredible we we became very good friends with uh ben shepherd he saved three feral cats that day it was pretty amazing started feeding them just right a hero the... just being a hero <laughs> just an everyday hero you know look at the cat i found <laughs> he starts feeding it it was amazing I, I can't tell you how much fun that was um and that did us a lot of good was that montreal or quebec i can't remember quebec city it's one of the two we were we were in the, la province of quebec but i can't remember if it was quebec city or montreal i do remember it was all asphalt and i thought this is a little dangerous but honestly you know getting to see the ramones side stage who gets that? I just, you know, that was an incredible night and that really helped us, uh, you know, stay top of mind, I guess you could say preceding uh, the recording and release of transmissions. So 